We start though with corn planting in our state. It is inching toward completion, close to 90% in the ground. However, it is more than two weeks behind average. Not only will yields be impacted, quality could also be a problem. Watch the pest development that can occur. Work with your crop scout, work with uh, others, and, and really get into your fields and scout those fields. We've had a difficult time getting the crop going, so we're kind of behind. Meanwhile, the pests have been in the field this whole time, and uh, they've been developing and going through their life cycle kind of on schedule. So there's a real good chance that we can have a lot of uh, pests out there, especially insects. And even those crops planted a month ago were just a few inches high because there hasn't been enough dry, warm weather to help with the crop emergence. A number of farms have opted to go with Prevent Plant on the balance of their acres that are not yet planted. Strawberry season also a bit behind schedule this year. Typically, growers target the beginning of June to start picking, but most are anticipating it will be at least another week before the berries are ripe. That cloudy, cool, wet weather delayed this crop as well. But in the end, consumers may wind up with quite a treat. So if it stays cooler, they have more time to absorb all that water, get all that sugar, and that's actually going to increase the size of the strawberry. So we should have a really good crop this year. They should be very large berries this year. Strawberry season typically lasts around three weeks.